equivalent fraction. This module will explain the basics of equivalent fraction. Consider two rectangles of same dimensions. In first rectangle, we divide the rectangle in four parts and shade two parts out of it. Then, the fraction for the shaded part will be 2 by 4. In the second rectangle, we divide it into 8 equal parts and shade 4 out of 8 parts. Then, fraction for shaded part will be 4 by 8. We see that the area shaded in both the rectangles is same, but the fractions representing them are different. But, since they represent the same part out of whole, they are equivalent. Two fractions are equivalent if they represent the same value. We can get equivalent fractions by multiplying or dividing the numerator and the denominator by the same number. Example, write three equivalent fractions of 15 upon 20. Explanation we can get three equivalent fractions by multiplying the numerator, that is 15, and denominator, that is 20, by 2, 3, and 4. So we get the equivalent fractions as 30 upon 40, 45 upon 60, and 60 upon 80. Example. Find the equivalent fraction of 45 upon 80 with numerator 9. Explanation We get the equivalent fraction by multiplying or dividing the numerator and denominator by same number. Now, if we divide 45 with 5, we get 9. So, we divide the denominator, that is 80, with 5 to get the denominator as 16. So, the required fraction is 9 upon 16. Consider a fraction 45 upon 80. We can see that in this fraction, the numerator and denominator have some common factor. So, we can divide the numerator and denominator of the fraction with the common factor 5 to get an equivalent fraction. We get the fraction as 9 upon 16. Now, the numerator and denominator have no common factor except 1. Such fraction is called the simplest form of the fraction. To simplify a fraction, divide the numerator and the denominator by the highest number that can divide into both numbers Exactly. Let us see some examples. Example. Convert the following fractions in simplest form. A. 144 by 280 B. 121 by 1331 Explanation. A. The highest common factor of HCF of 144 and 280 is 8. So we divide 144 and 280 by 8 to get 18 and 35 respectively. So the required fraction is 18 upon 35. B. The highest common factor of HCF of 121 and 1331 is 121. So, we divide 121 and 1331 by 11 to get 1 and 11 respectively. So, the required fraction is 1 upon 11.